And like they're in, they're, they are asking for things, but I think, and they're going to, they're getting things. They're getting some representation on committees. They're, it's like, it's insider. Fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck off. Go fuck yourself with your fucking committee. Fuck me. <laughs> you fucking egghead nerd. I don't give a fuck about your committee shit. Nobody voted for her for a fucking committee. Why don't you stop saying that stupid shit? No, 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 I, That's I directed a, at Matt, not at Jaya Fucking Matt. I have a point. I have a point here. Yeah, you um, fucking bet you do. It's called a point Dexter. That's a fucking <laughs> stupid thing to say. There's some factional disputes here or there. And what's that worldview? I just don't think, yeah, what's what the worldview? What the fuck? Are you fucking on drugs? Are you shitting me that the fucking regular corporate Democrats and us share the same core values? Yeah. So she's going to be going out as speaker in 2022. And so she's going to bookend her career by calling for a single payer vote and denying a single payer vote. That's going to be the bookends to her career while people are dying during a deadly pandemic. And I'm supposed to be embarrassed that I'm raising my voice. Well, I'm not. And if they don't fucking do this, I'm coming for them and I'm never stopping. So uh, our show, it basically is geared towards getting me an MSNBC contract. <laughs> and uh, and then I'll start calling other people grifters. That's basically what I will. That's what I've wanted to do for all, this whole time. So that's what I say. Nobody who nobody who watched that interview with me doing that interview could criticize me, except that fucking jerk off uh, Jerry from the that's who claims to be a socialist. And I go, what's your message for a guy like Matt? He goes, I don't have a message for him. I go, well, then you don't know how to fucking organize. That's not how organizing works. And that's why nobody ever heard of that guy that that people like Magnus and you have common enemy and that con common enemy is Wall Street. That common enemy is Aetna and Blue Cross. That common enemy is Exxon. That common enemy is Raytheon. You guys have common enemy. Your enemy isn't a fucking another guy who's broke dick living in a fucking trailer. That's not your fucking enemy. <laughs> let, me give, let me say one more thing, Jimmy. You, you... I don't have a boss. I don't have a manager that they can complain to. I don't have somebody I'm trying to get a job from. And that's what drives them fucking crazy. So the biggest people who are my biggest critics are shit lib Joe Biden supporters. That's yeah. who fucking come at me. And they pretend that they care exactly. about racism as they're voting for the biggest fucking racist who was ever president. Who, yeah. are you, who are you talking about with that, Jimmy? I'm talking about anybody who's a progressive in Congress who isn't endorsing hashtag the vote. All those motherfuckers who didn't show up today at our town hall. Every fucking one of them is selling you out and canceling you for their own personal gain. They differ from the strategy. Some what of is us her strategy, Ben? Has she shared that with you privately? Because she hasn't shared her fucking strategy publicly. So if you have some information, could you share it with us? If you don't have any information, please tell me, uh, please stop telling people that they have a fucking strategy when you know damn well they don't. Well, so, I mean, what I would say is right now, I'm not sure what their strategy is. At this they don't have moment, one, Ben. But... Stop saying you're not sure. You have but... no fucking idea. Okay. They have no strategy, okay. and you know it. Stop fucking it... saying you don't okay. know. I what is their strategy? Me, what... If you know what their strategy is, tell me. If you don't, don't say you don't know. Say they don't fucking have one because they don't fucking have one. Well, but that is I, bullshit, yeah. clap trap, mealy mouth, fuck face shit. Stop doing that, okay. Ben. No, so, well, yeah. let's, hold on. You are dying, Ben. Quit giving politicians the benefit of the fucking doubt. I guess my thing is, like, 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 great. Are on. you fucking like shitting Green me? And I have been saying, hold on. Hold on. No. You need a pothead comedian to tell you about how fucking union labor law works? Case fucking closed. Unfucking believable. Oh, that's a closed fucking case. Oh my God, Jimmy Dorsey inappropriate. What a motherfucker. I don't know if you watch their show, but their live stream viewers, they get half the live stream viewers that a pothead jagoff comedian in his fucking garage gets. This was the year, you motherfuckers. Like, so how do you, when you go to organize people on the union floor, which that guy has never fucking done. I've been a union worker. I worked at UPS. I fucking labor. I know what it's like. I've been in three fucking unions here in Hall. I know how you organize. The way you don't organize is you don't show up on the fucking floor shop and say, hey, who here is a right winger? Who's here is a Trumper? Who here is a Boogaloo boy? Who's a proud boy? You guys are out. Right. Now, who's left? We're going to organize with that. That's not how it works. 
Most fucking people in unions voted for fucking Trump in the Midwest. That's not how you organize. You organize along class lines. You don't go left, right. Hey, who here is an environmentalist? Who's a socialist? Who's a democratic socialist? That's not how you fucking organize. And everybody knows that. And that's what scares them. When you stop going left, right, when you stop doing the politics of division, like Charles Barkley even fucking told us, yeah. that's what scares the shit out of them. So when we come together to oppose the establishment's war machine, their fucking rapacious Wall Street, their fucking health care machine, when we stand together to oppose that, that's what scares the shit out of them. And that's why they got to demonize me when I do it. You fucking liar. You piece of shit. You motherfuckers. <laughs> I just don't think, yeah, what's what the world view? What the fuck? Are you fucking on drugs? They don't give a shit about people. They're doing the bidding of their fucking donors straight up and quit being a dupe on purpose. And as Glenn Greenwald said, the intercept is shit. Where the fuck does Nathan J. Robinson get his fucking money from? And where did that guy come from? He came from Harvard, right? I fucking know that. He certainly didn't come from being a bricklayer like I did. Uh, for, that, that, that's not where he comes from. Again, I'm sure his fingers are fucking clean as a whistle, and his fingernails would fucking, uh, if you dropped a brick on it, they'd be over. He's a pathetic, spineless, nutless wonder who will ever fucking challenge power.